yeah, peace and love. You know what I'm saying? Greetings, I'm a guy that pawns up. Happy Holy Divine Day to the raw, you and righteous body. You know, it's love. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, thee do we worship, thine aid we seek. Show us the straight way, the way of those whom have bestowed thy grace. The way of those whom portion us in out of wrath and have gone out of spray. Amen. And on that holy divine day, we give thanks to all of those that brought the teaching, the majestic teaching from the east to the west. And we definitely give thanks and Love and undying love to all of our leaders, those that now still here, those that are behind the enemy lines, and those that have transitioned and moved on. Definitely give thanks to all of us that's on the front line, not living and continuing to teach all of our youth and following humanity. That man. Said and also wanted to um, just wanted to um, rotate and reason with y'all on um, a concept or idea. Like when we say we give things to those that brought the teaching from the east to the west, you gotta analyze like where it was that they brought from the east to the west. We gotta go like we can't go back and uh, go back from our eyes that we have now. Like we can't go back in time and say how people were feeling or how people view things from their perspective because we looking at it through our eyes right now, like in the new millennium ideology or this new millennium scope of things as far as like how we process information today was different how they did it back then. But I ain't going to do it. I'm just sticking to core concepts. So, even when we um, break it down, like, for those of us that look at Islam, like, I self, Lord and Master, from the Moorish perspective of Islam, which is Allah, arm, lay, lay, arm, and head. And then we get those five principles known to man, the high principle known to man, the Lord, truth, peace, freedom, and justice that come out of that Moorish science temple. But... Breaking down out of from this aspect, arm, leg, arm, arm leg, leg, arm, head. That's the five point star. That's the man or woman. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the body. And when we breaking down the teaching of the, uh, the understanding of what we're brought from the east to the west, we got to look at how we process information as far as the differences. Like when we even looking at something from the aspect of healing, like when in the east, like, Due to ancient customs and customs and perspective and how they would talk, they look at everything from a holistic point of view. Like they don't dissect different problems. They look at the whole, okay, we got this problem right here. Then it gotta be it gotta be an inflow, something going on within the whole body. But in the West, we look at the problem and we go specifically at that problem. We go in specifically, uh, we tackle that problem without understanding or connecting the whole body to the extent of that problem. Like when you get sick or uh, you get the flu or something, that's in your lung, but that whole sickness, that have a bad effect on your whole body. You can't just heal the lung without understanding, you know what I'm without some type of remedy for the whole body. That's like, that why you drinking the tea, that's why you... You know what I'm saying? You got the medicine, you're doing the whole type of treatment. Like you basing in the the helps and salt, whatever you doing, like it's a whole whole process. And then healing is a it's a holistic concept. Cause you can't just isolate part of the body. So that being said, when we talking about unity, we can't really look at unity from the Western concept of on unity, cause we'll be isolating ourselves or we'll be looking at it as separatism like okay they from their location or they from their section they don't pertain to the whole body we see that in the media right now like when we are back in when ones and one during the protests and marching so whether it was Trayvon Mike Garner well Eric Gaynor or all of these Sandra Bland like a lot of our people that don't follow in media like a lot of time 
ones might be not receptive to get on the front line like, get in and do that because they feel like oh they had that feeling like oh they ain't got nothing to do with me and ain't no connection to that it's the same thing like you separating yourself from the body you got to look at the whole thing like the problem like that that's on a whole different level but we can't the same thing we're going through here as black people of color the same thing it's, it's a problem that is affecting us as a whole body globally because of the color of our skin. But that, that, I ain't want to focus too much on the problem. I want to focus too much, I want to focus like on the solution of that. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm you, you, me. Like, you my brother, you my sister. And we, at the end of the day, we're a fl reflection of self. And we gotta, we gotta look at it like that. But in order to look at it like that, it, it levels to understanding. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different piece it that you gotta um, read it's a lot of different experience that you gotta go through but we were there at one point when it was like a village it take a village to raise a child but due to like economics uh social re-engineering and all of these processes of, like gentrification uh cointel process so it's it's a war going on with us huh the war but i ain't gonna <clears throat> I ain't gonna um, I ain't gonna talk y'all head out too um bad. I just wanted to um <clears throat> shed that information, shed some light on that. Like we can't look at we can't look at uh, analyze stuff through the Western eye when we're speaking on unity. <clears throat> and at the same time, the issue gonna come up all the Situation is cognitive dissonance that when you teach or give somebody some information that shatter their whole belief system or shatter their whole custom uh, ideology that they, they already built up a front of a facade for uh, they sir. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't just, like, you just, when somebody sleep like that, you, it's a, it weighs and means the waking or uh, elevating those individuals. But at the same time, you got to come to a person on their level. You can't just really force so much on a person, whether you, you know what I'm saying, true or not. It's still going to be perceived as you bringing some bullshit. But more of the story, I know I kind of can't be long-winded. More of the story, you know what I'm saying, we, as far as, like, unity within the body, we got to look at the whole arm, leg, leg, arm, head when we speak about healing. We can't just isolate and focus on the arm of it, or we can't just focus on the leg or the head of it. It's, it's a whole body, and we gotta see beyond the duality too, fam. You know what I'm saying? Duality is a concept like hot and cold. Like you take hot and cold, like they two different uh, North Pole and South Pole. It's still it's two different poles of the polarities of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You got one, like, cold and hot. You got one, but it's like you want to know it's hot till you see what's cold, and same thing, vice versa. It's two different poles of the same thing. But when we recognize the whole same thing, it's like we begin to process and analyze it from the whole, the totality of a situation. When we understand the totality of a situation, we will be better problem solvers and engineers of our vision. And that will be, <laughs> That's what we have, visionary leaders, man. Peace and love.